person in an accident, it, it was kind of a freakish accident. Even now, years later, I still wonder how did this thing really happen? And so um, I had to go to court and I was kind of nervous because I had never been to court before. So um, a friend of mine had prayed that Wednesday, um, we prayed a prayer of agreement that, um, that I will come out without you know, having to pay a fine or anything. And so the, the day before the court, um, I wasn't very familiar with where the courthouse was and all that. So I decided I'm going to go and find where this place is. And you see about the parking spots, you know, and all that. So that when I show up, I don't have to be circling the place trying to find a parking spot or finding this courthouse. So I went and um, I'm trying to find a room. And um, I happened to look down this long hallway. Uh, some of you may have heard this story before. And, um, and there was a tall, lanky man just standing in, in the hallway. The hallway was lonely. There was no one there. He was just standing there holding a briefcase. Just standing. And I looked down the hallway and I saw him and, you know, I went and, and I said, Sir, and I have a case tomorrow in room so-and-so. Do you know where it is? And he said, it's right here. He was standing right in front of the room. And so all of a sudden I felt prompted to tell him about the accident. And I told him, you know, I was in this accident and, you know, and I went through the whole thing and I said, do you think if I tell the judge all this that he'll listen? Because I've never been before a judge, you know, this is a new thing for me. And he looked at me and he said, he might. So, <laughs> so I left and, you know, next day I rolled around and I show up and I walked into that courtroom and surprise, surprise, <laughs> he was the judge. <laughs> <laughs> he was the judge. Now you see how God worked this out? I was believing, you know, that I would come out victorious and then have to pay no fine. Um, my husband, when I was going, you know, we kind of crossed each other. He was going in, I was going out, and and he and I told him, I, I'm not, um, I'm going to go and argue this case. And he said, Don't argue nothing. Just pay the fine. Don't you? <laughs> don't you hear his name? His name is Slaughter. He'll slaughter you. <laughs> I see my husband had had a few run-ins with this judge for speeding, so, and he always, he always had to pay hefty fines. So he said, just pay the fine. But I didn't want to pay no fine. Anyway, he was the judge. Now, that, you know, I didn't think about this. This isn't part of my lesson in my notes. But, you know, as I, I was, you know, as I started to teach and talking about putting feet to your faith, See, I put faith to my faith, uh -huh. and I went to the courthouse. Uh -huh. I went to find this room. I uh -huh. went to find, and in doing so, God, God had already ordained for that judge to be there. There was no reason for him to be there because there was no one else there. All the doors were locked up. He was, he was just standing there until I showed up. God had him there to hear what I had to say. So when I showed up, he already had a background of the case. He already knew what happened. Long story short, he, he, you know, the, the cop showed up and he lied, totally shocked me. And um, the judge, you know, he banged his gavel and he said, it's obvious that the, the weather contributed to this accident. Case dismissed. <laughs> and I walked out of that room. Oh my, I was... I felt like I was walking on cloud nine. Yeah. I was so happy.